Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the one line that made me crack up in this movie. So if you haven't already watched it, you know, watch... Okay, don't watch the movie. I can't recommend the movie to anyone. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and give away the line. I guess it's the mayor or something. He's yelling at the police chief or something. I don't give a fuck. And... The police chief insists it must be Jason, even though Jason's dead. And the response is, Get me a goddamn alive suspect! Wow, that is just, that is brilliant. That is fucking hilarity right there. Yeah. I'm not even sure that was at all supposed to be funny, but... Man. At first, or early on in this, I thought that they were going to be, like, dropping red herrings. You know, the ugly motherfucker that, you know, works for the two rednecks that I will be getting back to, you know, obviously that guy could be the killer. He's big, he's strong, and then later we see Roy, I guess, you know, the paramedic dude who doesn't talk much to people, but then, you know, Mr. Uglyface got killed off, and then it's obvious that it's Roy. There are only two red herrings. There are only two possibilities. Who the fuck else could it be? If they were gonna do that kind of thing, they should have had one of them appear near the end, you know, still alive, and then we think, uh-oh, is that actually the one, or, you know... But no, instead, it's just that. It's kind of okay that they try to make it a new kind of Jason, you know, my kid got killed, so, you know, or a new Mrs. Voorhees, rather. But then they kill off Roy at the end, and then I guess, you know, Tommy was now supposed to be the new killer, but they didn't follow up on that. Yeah. Making this entire movie utterly fucking pointless. The Rednecks. God, I hated them. I I hated everyone in this fucking movie, but those two, I really hated. They keep introducing these utterly obnoxious characters in this particular movie, really. In the others, it's like one character who's obnoxious and who doesn't die until the end. But in this one, the obnoxious characters just keep on coming. We're relieved when they die, and the ones that don't die immediately, we're just hoping will die soon before we have to be subjected to much more of them. Did anybody else notice how no one's actions made sense in this movie? How one second, you know, Michael Jackson's girlfriend is shaking the can, the other, they're singing to each other, and then, you know, more shaking, and he's threatening to kill her or something? What the fuck? The wrestling moves were just, I mean, at first it was just the one, but then he's, you know, kicking the ass of Redneck Jr. Seriously, where did he pick up those moves? I think it would have been kind of interesting if Tommy had turned out to be a new killer, you know. I can understand if people were getting tired of Jason. Especially since he was only all that badass in the third movie, just saying. Jason also wasn't really, or, you know, faux Jason, imposter Jason, or Roy, really wasn't that badass in this. He really wasn't that intimidating, you know, when you saw him. And since there was no build-up to any of the deaths, you know... I was never really scared of him. I was bored in the ending scene, you know, I... The opening scene kind of had my attention because, you know, the rain on the mask looked cool and the whole setup wasn't bad, you know, you have that kind of thing of he's not really dead, you know, can you truly kill? But then it's just a dream and the movie just goes downhill and downhill and downhill from there. the many hallucinations... I don't know, I guess it wouldn't have been utterly pointless if Tommy had turned out to be... you know, had turned into Jason... 
you know, 2.0 or something, but when it didn't, yeah. And now Tommy is basically completely useless of a character in the movie, because all he does is show up at the place, you know, he's not the, f it's not his fault that, you know, fat kid that everybody hates gets killed, so he just shows up at the place, and then at the end, I think he chops off Roy's hand, and that's it, you know. That's all he does in the entire movie. You could cut him entirely out of the movie, and it'd still be, you know, there just wouldn't be a connection to the movie just prior to it, but that would be it. So there, near the end, the chainsaw was apparently just already going full force, even though, you know, Roy didn't hear it at all. Did anybody else think that when Michael Jackson asks Pam, you know, right after Reggie has said that, you know, she's his girlfriend, you know, Jackson says, what's up, Pam? I think she should have responded, pedophilia charges. When Roy is standing over Pam, I think it is, how the hell could he not, you know, get her killed in time before Reggie drove into him with the little truck thing? I mean, they were far away from each other and Roy was standing right there. It's also just really stupid that I mean, I get why they would think, okay, he's dead, because maybe they don't know about Jason. Wait, they do, don't they? Because it's near Jason, and it's already been brought up that maybe it's Jason, and he's got the hockey mask, he's got the machete. They would probably have figured out that it's Jason fucking Voorhees. So why the fuck did they think he was dead if they think he might be a zombie? Anyway, it was really lame, regardless of how you look at it, because everybody in the audience knows that he isn't dead yet. He was just, you know... Reggie ran into him. Man, foe Jason really fell over a lot in this also. I mean, it really didn't take a lot to knock him over. Him getting kicked out of the barn window was so sloppily edited, I wasn't even entirely sure if he was supposed to have gone over. I get that they didn't want to show him fall, you know, flying through the air, because he wasn't landing on the spikes yet, but still, it was really hideously edited together. Anyway, I think that is everything for this movie, so this has been Attack of the Sequels on Friday the 13th, Part 5, A New Beginning. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.